Hooks, how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with the review on this super cute, and I'm telling you now, I don't know how to say it properly, so don't be leaving me no ugly comments about how you can't believe I don't know how to pronounce all these French names, okay? It's the Melly, the Mealy, the Malay, I don't know. M-E-L-I-E, -E, okay? That's what it is. It's discontinued, super classy bag. Measurements are, um, okay, I want to show you this. So this piece, right, so, so the actual, like, see where it bends, there's this fold? So if, if from this seam, so this seam to this seam, it's 12 inches. But it's not really a true, like, you know, width or, yeah, length because, see, it kind of goes out. So that piece measures 12, but the true piece or, like, the true space that you have is going to be 14. So we're going to say 14 inches wide. It's also 14 inches tall. And then as far as the depth, okay, so I put five-ish because again, I just measured this piece, but you know, if you're setting it flat on a table, you can see that you have more room than that, okay? It does have a dual carry option. So you've got the one smaller strap, kind of like on the Mati Hobo, you've got this one. And it is removable, they're both removable. And then you have the adjustable one. Now, right now it's on the longest setting. And on the longest setting, it's 19 inch drop from here to here. And then the shortest one is gonna be 15. So, depending on your height, um, you should be able, well, I don't know if you should be able to. You may or may not be able to wear it cross body, but this is the longest setting. I'm 5'6", this is where it is. Here's my waist, so it does hang down. I like it here because I can still, okay, so it's probably a tad too long because I can't touch the bottom of the bag on the inside. So I might bring it up one or two so that it's just a little bit higher. Um, but for crossbody, it's great for crossbody. And I can reach the bottom um, when it's on the crossbody option. And then, you know, you can kind of swing it around to the back or you can just have it to your side. Um, again, I love the multi-carry option. I really like that a lot. Um, okay, you can see that it has these two uh, chunky zippers and they're functional. They're, these are functional pockets. They go all the way around. Okay, so let me just like unzip one. So for me, I'm not going to put anything in this pocket that I need to get to a lot. Um, it is a generous pocket. I mean, it literally does go like all the way around. So I'm going to put something in here, you know, like my little, this chair out of the way. I have a little earbud case. Okay, hold on. Let me put this down. I forgot to get this stuff ready. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So like, for example, my little earbud case, I'm going to put that out here because I don't need to get to that a lot. And I don't really like, I have seen women carrying this bag and sometimes they leave these pockets un, or these zippers, you know, unzipped and they're just carrying it and they make it look sloppy. I don't like that. I like for, I like a clean look on my bag, you know? Okay. Um, real quick, the rest of the features. It does have these nice chunky feet, which is a, always a nice touch. I already told you about the chunky zippers uh, or zipper pulls and, um, and nice smooth zippers, of course. And then there was something else. Oh yeah. This, it comes with this pretty little luggage tag already on it. It's got its own little special D-ring and everything for it. It's really nice. The inside is that uh, burgundy Alcantara lining. Really nice. I love this. It's in my favorite bag, the Raspel, and, um, of course, lots of other bags. And so it's got one generous pocket on one wall. Let's see. So it would be the, the back wall. No, sorry, the front wall. The front wall has the generous uh, slip pocket there. I know you kind of can't see it. Let's see. Let me put something in it so you can kind of see it better. I have an iPhone 6 Plus and it will fit in here side to side with no trouble. Let's see, see that better. There you go. There you go. Um, it does not have a case. It, even if it did have a chunky case, you wouldn't have any trouble um, getting it in and out. Obviously, it'll stick out if you put it, you know, like that. On the back wall is the heat stamp. And then it does have the two slip pockets, and they're smaller, actually. Well, they're like the ones that you see in other bags. So you're only going to be able to fit the phone up and down, and it is going to stick out a little bit. So you can put that on one side, and then, um, you know, like I have my little card case for overflow cards. I could put that over here, but actually I'm not going to because I like to get, I like to have easy access to my Burt Bees and my hand sanitizer. So I'm going to put those things in the other little pocket over here with my little room spray that I like to have handy for probably bathroom use, you know? Okay, and then on the other side, I'm probably just gonna save that for my keys and my phone. Oh yeah, I, I put the phone in here, but I'm not gonna use that pocket. I'm gonna actually use the other pocket. And then on this other free pocket that I have, then I will put 
this over there because I do like I do get to that quite a bit okay um, it does not have a closure at all there's no mat there's no snap there's no magnetic um, you know closure there's no clasp there's no zipper there's no tie there's nothing so it's similar the opening is similar to that of the delightful in that it just kind of gapes open as you can see um, when you get your stuff in it it does create a little more of a slouchy I mean I would definitely consider this you know a hobo bag um, because it is pretty slouchy and you can just tell there's not a whole lot of structure to it but um, it is it is easy well, let's see you can't get it over your shoulder I was gonna see if it passes a little test let's see okay because the top is so like smushy and you know droopy it is gonna pass the elbow test so even if you it doesn't necessarily have a long drop but even if you you know um, have stuff in it or not you're not gonna have any trouble now because it's so tall you can't get you can't get into it conveniently from your shoulder if you have something sticking up like right here on the top then yeah if you just need to take off your sweater and throw it in here on the top you can do that from your shoulder but if you need to get into the bag like the Mati Hobo, you're going to have to put it here or set it down and then get into it. Or another option is if you want to use this strap and use it as a shoulder bag, of course you have no trouble getting into your bag this way. Um, but again, you can see it's very, it's, it's like the Delightful. It's very gapy, you know? Um, so there. But it does kind of fold over itself. I don't know. It doesn't just stay like this. I mean, if it does, you'd have to just adjust it because you know you can so you can kind of close it it'll close naturally if you push it together and kind of fold over the uh the canvas it's not it doesn't take a lot of work though i'm not trying to make it sound like you have to work to get it closed you don't okay so the stuff i normally carry is my accessory pochette i'm just going to put that down there on the bottom of course i have my mid size pochette and i'm going to put that in there i have my um, zippy organizer wallet it's just a little bit bigger than the original uh, Zippy Long Wallet. I do have a comparison video of the two on my channel and there's not a whole lot of difference. I think it's like an inch in the length and the height only. It's not very much at all. Um, by the way, the, the wallet will not fit in that slip pocket in the back, just so you know. So right now I have everything in there and everything is side by side. Um, there's still a ton of room in here. You know, just for grins, I actually have this never full pouch. And so because it's so thin, you know, it's like an envelope, you could stick that in here. So that way, if you wanted to just grab that out, you know, put stuff in there that you, um, if you know, you don't want to take your whole bag in or whatever. And then I forgot to bring this one thing. So on my Mati Hobo, I had this little canvas bag that I bought like at Old Navy in New York. And so like whenever it was raining, um, now this isn't the case with this, this strap because they're both Bichetta. But um, on the Mati Hobo, I would, if it was raining, I would take off this small strap, put it in that little case and carry it. Obviously with this bag, you know, well, you're gonna pick your poison. You're gonna have either watermarks on this short one or you're gonna have watermarks on the other one unless you get some sort of strap made. I don't know. I, I have this one strap that I use on my make bag and um, I'm actually getting one made that has this, the uh, gold hardware. And so if it was raining, I could just put my after, my aftermarket uh, strap on it and then I wouldn't have to worry about it see and it doesn't matter if it's black I mean obviously it'll coordinate I'm just saying if you wanted to carry it in the weather and you didn't want anything to you know you didn't want any watermarks or whatever you could use something else just for that purpose uh, but anyway uh, okay so what else is I gonna tell you oh I also have a couple more things I have my little Burt Bees no this isn't Burt Bees Trader Joe this is something that I don't really need to get to a lot either. So I will just put it on the other little outside zipper pocket right here. I'm just gonna stick it in here. So these pockets to me are convenient. Um, I think they're better for things, in my opinion. I think they're better for items that you don't need to get in, you know, get to quickly and all the time because I feel like it's kind of a beating to be like, oh, jacking with the zipper just because it does go all the way around. Because you have to have the bag placed a certain way to get the zipper to go all the way around. You can't really do it one-handed, you know what I'm saying? And then, of course, um, I don't want this to fall over. I have my oversized calendar. I say it's oversized, it's really not that big. Uh, it's not even eight and a half by 11, it's smaller than that. And then, so that goes in there, see, so just like that. And then for the summer, I have like a specific summer calendar because there's like all this stuff. I'm not sitting here bragging going, oh my gosh, I'm so busy, but I am. My kids have like all these random different things and. I couldn't keep track of it in my main calendar. So I have this huge folder that I'm only carrying short term. 
and I can put that in here up and down. And it is kind of obnoxious, but like I said, for right now, with all their junk that going on, I have to, I have to create. So let me just mod shot it again for you. So first you can do crook of the elbow, like I said, obviously shoulder, no problem. It's really pretty. Um, let's just kind of do this. I'm just trying to like figure out a way to, I don't know. I feel like the way that it falls naturally is, I don't know. It just kind of gapes open again, like the delightful. And then you also have your shoulder strap here. You can carry it like that, which I like this. I've, I've been, you know, I think I've mentioned in one of my other videos last year, I was like in a tote uh, phase this year. I mean like a shoulder bag phase. So I like this. And then of course, crossbody. I'm five, six. And so I'm, it has the longest setting on it right now. And so it's right here, like right at my hip bone. So like, here's my actual hip bone right here. It's right at the top of that. And then I like to have it kind of in the back. Like if I'm at the store, I like to have it kind of in the back. So anyway, again, this is the, and I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, the Mailey, the Mailey, I don't know. Okay. Uh, anyway, I hope this was helpful and I'll be talking to you real soon.